I definitely contemplated on making this video. So, if you guys don't know, I'm doing a Dan in Life series of A Paralyzed Man. This is episode two, and I am currently at the urgent care. You know, when you're paralyzed, in order to use a restroom, you have to cath. I use a straight catheter. So, you're more prone to catching UTIs. And last night, whenever I was out there in LA, on the way back, I started getting body aches. When you're paralyzed, one thing that you start to learn is your body. You will learn your body <laughs> like you've never known it before. And you'll pay attention to everything. And last night on the way back, I started getting the chills. And I know whenever I get the chills, I probably have a UTI. You know, for some people, UTIs can be very frustrating because they just come constantly. You know, fortunately for me, I haven't had to deal with them as much because I try to be as sanitary as possible. But when you're cathing, no matter what, you're still putting something like directly into your bladder, you know, from the outside. So, you know, you you might catch a UTI. And this is something that I thought about sharing. I didn't want to, but if I'm gonna take you guys in the day in the life of a paralyzed man, this is something that we deal with. It's tough. I ain't feel like getting up. My eyebrows feel like they're sweating. Like my body feels like clammy. Like, you know, I'm, I got the chills. Like, like I wanna put the heat on, I got the heating pad and you know, it's just a crappy feeling. You know, this is, this is very kind of TMI. But you know, like if your pee starts to look cloudy, um, if it starts to have like a foul smell to it, um, sometimes if you have accidents, see, I don't normally have accidents, but if I do have an accident, then I, then I'll start to think like, okay, like what happened? Have I cast like, you know, within a certain amount of hours, you know, cause I cast like every four to five hours and I normally don't have accidents, but if I have an accident and it's just random, I'd be like, Hmm, I might have a UTI. And a lot of times you guys, I go check all the time. I go check every six months. Um, and you know, for the past five years, I haven't caught one. But I know I have one now. Like, I know. Like, I like I literally know I have one. So, I'm about to go up into Priority Urgent Care right now, and I will get back to you guys in a little bit. So, I'll let you know. All right, guys. So, look, I just got to the bag. They gave me this cup to fill up. So, that's what I'm about to do right now. So, let's do it. Hopefully. We don't have a UTI, but I'm pretty sure I do. All right, guys, so the doctor came in right now. He said there was no sign of a UTI, but he said sometimes that the machine doesn't pick up on every single UTI. So he said, you know what, since you straight cap, and then since you are paraplegic, I'm just gonna go ahead and treat you as if you do have a UTI. So he was like, do you want that? I was like, yeah. He was like, do you want to take the pills and a shot, or do you just want the pills? I said, you know what, let me get the shot just to be on the safe side. And yeah, I'm gonna go get a prescription as well too. So I just always like to be on the safe side. So, you know, this is me kind of bringing you guys into the day in our life of a paraplegic man. And, you know, like, even though I didn't want to show you guys, I feel like it was important for you guys to see what actually happened. So, yeah, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. So, like, at least we don't have one, but at the same time, you know, I kind of might have one, but I don't know. But I just like to be on the safe side. So, yeah. So, right. It's gonna pick up the truck. It just works. All right. Man. It is gonna sting, okay? Okay. One, two, and three. You okay? No, I'm just playing. I can't even feel it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't even feel it. I can't, I can't, I can't oh. feel from Yeah. I'm like, I was like a cane, so. No, I just. <laughs> I was like, let me just play. You trying to scare me? Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing this so long. <laughs> there you go. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're awesome. All right, appreciate it. I'm finally home. All right, I went to urgent care. The doctor said that I did not have a UTI, you guys. I can't be more happy at the fact that I do not have a UTI. But the doctor gave me a shot, and he also prescribed me some antibiotics just so we can be on the safe side. The doctor prescribed me, the doctor prescribed me a uh, ciflaxin, 500 milligrams, take one capsule by mouth three times a day. So I got a seven day supply, 
and I got to take these. So, yeah. The machines that they have there, they don't test for each and every UTI. So he said, look, I'm going to just go ahead and do this so we can be on a safe side. And I always want to be on a safe side because you never want something like that to get out of hand. And that's why I'm doing these videos of a day in the life of a paralyzed man because I want to create awareness. All right, I know I make it look good. But at the same time, there are things that I go through behind the scenes that I don't get to show you guys. Uh, I know a lot of my content be on Instagram, and I feel like that this is something that I wouldn't really want to put on Instagram. But on my YouTube channel, I feel like, I, look, I will want to create awareness here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too much TMI, all right? I just wanted to bring you guys in a day of my life, all right, to show you guys what really goes on behind the scenes and, you know, when I'm doing something good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I love each and every single one of you. Peace.